Hi, in this video today, I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about prisms. One thing that I talk about a lot that I feel strongly about, but today might have a little bit of a twist. Before I go into that though, let's talk about how you can connect with us. If you're local, call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, that's okay. Go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com and you can look around the website. You can look at success stories. You can take a quiz, but you can also schedule a consultation with us. Now let's go back and talk about these prisms. So in today's video, I want to give you a little bit of a prism lesson. First of all, this is a large prism. It's a 50 prism diopter prism. And when we look at this, it looks a little bit like a triangle. And the way that the um, prism works is that the base of the prism is the big flat part and the apex of the prism is where it comes to a point. And when it comes to a point, it sends information visually over to that point. So for instance, if I were to put this prism in front of my eye, it would shift visual information towards the apex or towards this little pointy part and away from the base of the prism. So if, for instance, you have been prescribed prism in your glasses and it says BD, that stands for base down. If it says B up, that is base up. The flat base part would be up. Base uh, right versus base left. And then there are instances where it will say base I or B I and it might say B O. Well, what do those stand for? So we're gonna talk about that today. And when we talk, um, about and discuss using prisms, there's an important factor to know. If you're using a prism where it has the same orientation for both eyes, as an example, base out for one eye and base out for the other, it's shifting the visual information in towards the apex of both of those prisms. So effectively, it's either crossing the eyes or making the image line up to cross eyes. And if the base happens to be base in, let's just show you on these. So this is another set, and this is a pair of glasses where I can move the prism around. But if you look at these, you'll see, hopefully when I go like this, that the prism base is thick here in the middle. That would be considered to be a base in prism. So when we put this on, our eyes are going to shift outward towards the apex of the prism. And if I shifted the lenses around and I made them to be base out where the base was on the outside, towards the apex is where our eyes or the image would be shifted. Now let's take a look. Let's just see if you can notice this movement using prisms on my eyes. Now go easy on me. Everybody eventually ends up writing some sort of a note of like, your eyes look tired in this video. Well, yes, it happens to be six o'clock at night and I've worked all day long seeing tons of patients, so I'm tired, so go easy on me. All right, so <laughs> here is the prism. Let's put the base here. And if I put this in front of my eyes, you're gonna see my eyes go all over the place. That's the entire point of the prism. So now when I put this in front of one eye, you're going to see, oh, that my eyes have to shift around in order to look through this prism. So if you can see that, hopefully you can. Let's try it a different way. Let's see if you can tell how my eye shifts or moves. Oh, wow, that shifted a lot. This is 50 prism diopters. That's a huge movement. So if I put this in front of my eye, you should see my eyes move all around trying to adjust for this. Well, let's just try it with a base down and that's going to shift the visual information up for just one eye. Oh, there's two cameras. Hmm, which one do I look like? <laughs> okay, let's shift it and let's go base up. Oh, there's two cameras. Way up there, and way down there. All right, so that's what is going to happen when you put a base prism in front of the eye based on the orientation. Again, the base is the flat part, the apex is the point. 
and just kind of walking you through how it shifts. But now let's look at, well, what if it's over both eyes? What happens to the eyes and how do they have to adapt to things? And why am I somewhat against or opposed to wearing prisms that are the same for both eyes? Like base out, base out, base in, base in. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But let's look at a base in prism. When I put this in front of my eyes, you're going to see my eyes shift around and adjust outward to try to line up and see the fused image. Oh, can I get it together? Hmm. Oh, I can't get it together at the end of the day. This is 20 prism diopters, but it's a lot. So if I put this in front of my eyes, hopefully you see my eyes shift, trying to adjust and trying to get this image to come together. Now let's just take a look at what my eyes look like through a base out prism. You'll notice a big difference on this one. So let's move this around and I'll just kind of share with you as I move this around. The base is now out on this outer edge for both eyes. So what happens to my eyes? Remember, prisms work in that the image and visual information is shifted towards the apex or the pointy part of the triangle. So if I put this in front of my eyes, you should see my eyes cross in. Oh, whoo hard work trying to make my eyes go out and in and out and in this much at the end of the day, but I'm a trooper. That's why I'm doing the video. Okay. I should be shifted in and you should be able to see that on a video. Now, who knows, are my eyes lining up? They might be crossing. They might going out. Who knows what they're doing? But essentially when you're wearing prism glasses, the idea is if it says base out or base in on your lens prescription, the doctor's trying to shift the image based on where your eyes are lining up. So if you tend to overcross your eyes and have esotropia, you're going to have a base out prism because they want that image shifted to the apex in where you're crossing your eyes. Hopefully it gets sort of the double vision, right? But if you happen to be exotropia where the eyes go out, they're going to use a base in prism shifting towards the apex, which is out, which means the image will line up outwards and hopefully line things up better with the eyes. Now that's one way or one method of thinking about things, but it's not necessarily the way that we practice. We do believe that using syntonics or neurological light stimulating therapy filters that those are going to, in combination with vision therapy, make the difference and be able to adjust for someone being able to line up and using their two eyes together, as opposed to using prisms. However, there's one more thing about prisms let's talk about. There are some instances where prisms are helpful and we definitely use them for training purposes in therapy. We just don't usually send patients home with them unless they're already in a prism when we're trying to back them out of the prism. Then we may gradually back them from say, 10 prism diopters down to eight, down to six, down to four, down to zero. But let's talk about an instance where it's actually good to use prisms for patients. And again, these are big ones. I wouldn't prescribe this much, but it helps to show on the video today and makes it a little bit easier for you to see what I'm talking about. Now, if we look at this, we can see hopefully that the base of this prism is oriented down. Why would you use a base down prism? Well, base down prism, when you put it in front of the eyes, let's see what it does with mine. Oh, it shifted everything upwards. And you should see my eyes shifting up and down to compensate for that. But what a base down prism does in the instance of someone having something like esotropia where their eyes are crossing, a small amount not this much, but a really small amount of base down prism can shift the image upward. It also has this cool ability to shift the image up and out. And so it helps esotropia patients be able to line their eyes up slightly better outward without crossing. They don't adapt to it. It's not the same where with base out, we're shoving the image into those crossed eyes and just lining it up and they might adapt to it and gain more over time. This is shifting the eyes up and out and is completely safe and effective to utilize. We do utilize it sometimes, especially for infants, toddlers, and patients who have a lot of difficulty lining their eyes up. Maybe they have a very large amount of esotropia. So anyway, I hope you like this video talking about the prisms. Again, my eyes are tired. I need to go home and well, 
I need to go home and plant for my garden is what I need to do. <laughs> but with that, I'm going to say thanks for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button if you liked our video. Contact us if you're local. It's 618-288-1489. If you're not local, go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. You can schedule a consultation to find out how we might be able to help you get out of your prism glasses. And as always, if you like this video, please pass it on and maybe it will help someone else. Thank you.